Hello everyone, it's Alice Damon here with the next part of Love or Die, a visual novel. Uh, this time I'm gonna go after the Echo Route. And uh, since I've already read all this, I'm just gonna skip all of it. If you want to know what all of the beginning part is, you need to watch my Iron Route, which is the first part of this series. Is there a way I can just skip all this? Hide message. Message skip. There we go. Nice to meet you. I wonder what hide message would do. God, I can't click it while it's doing the rigging. What does this do? Oh, it doesn't do what I thought it would do. Never mind, I'll just skip. I still love Yu's outfit, though. There's my girl Echo! Coming after you next, girl! I wish they had a save feature for this game so I wouldn't have to do this all over again. But, oh well, at least they have a skip feature. Still love, uh, verses and background music. Seems fun. Don't worry, I probably will edit all this out until I get to Echo's route. There we go. I want to join the literature club. Right, no, no, stop, 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 stop. Oh, wait, there's the save option. I'm such a goof. Make sure to pay her a visit after class tomorrow. She will be exp explain all you have to know. Anyways, it was nice to meet you. If you have any questions, come to me anytime. I have to leave now. See you tomorrow. Good morning! The real thing begins now. I know you don't want to sit through all those boring classes. Let me use my superpower and let's just skip to the interesting part, shall we? Freedom! Let's go to the library. Eh? Nobody's there. Eh! What? Those faces are so funny! Uh, you hear someone further inside. Assuming the voice belongs to Echo, you follow it and find her standing on her tiptoes, trying to reach for a book on the top of the bookshelf. Help her! Obviously, you reach for the book and take it from the shelf. Eek! You scared me! Sorry, I was trying to help. Oh, er, thanks. I was actually putting it back, though. Oh, sorry. Oh. Dang it, I messed it up. You told me you decided to join the literature club. Um, well, we usually don't do much here. I'm actually the only member. So, um, welcome. Thanks. Everyone's busy with the Halloween dance preparations lately. I actually was made responsible for the theme. Seriously, that's awesome. Since you just joined the club, let's decide on that together. Besides that, besides that, you will deliver ordered books around the school. Cool. Deliver? Yeah, students often order books from the library. They used to come here to pick them up, but since you're here now, we can start delivering. Why didn't you deliver yourself? 
Well, I... Cause she's shy. Leave her be. Don't like going out. Girl, I understand you. I see. I'm the same way. Book delivery. Please sign here. Uh, yes, thank you. Wah, I waited for these. She looks so happy, but... Necromancy for dummies. Zombie Encyclopedia. How to Train a Zombie. 1001 Baking Reci Recipes by War Dead Zomsay. What kind of books are these? Ah, uh, and these are for Vivi. Echo puts two huge books on the table. One of them has a vampire on the cover, and the other looks very old. I didn't know verse like supernatural fiction. Uh, yeah. Fiction. Sure. Anyway, your first task is to deliver these to the infirmary. Vivi spends all her time there. Echo hands you the books and a piece of folded paper. Okay. You can go home straight from there. I'll see you tomorrow after school. Aw, oh, but I want to spend more time with you, Echo. I wonder what's written here. Why don't you sneak a peek, then? You stop for a moment. Curiosity wins, and you carefully unfold the paper. What is this? The paper contains unknown words and diagrams. You decide not to question it and go to the infirmary. Yes, come in. It's you, Alice. Did you need anything? Oh my god, are you injured? Don't tell me you joined the sports club. No, I'm fine. I just brought these for you. Oh, sorry about that. People tell me I'm too emotional sometimes. Haha. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. Wow, I was waiting for ages to get these books. This means you joined the lit club then. Thanks for bringing them to me. Sure, Echo also said to give you this. Mm hmm? Let's see. Ah, yes, yes, I promised to look into this. Thanks again, Alice. I think you'll have to take it back to Echo tomorrow, though. I'll finish after school. Sorry for the trouble. Neither of us le leave our designated rooms much. It's okay. I don't mind at all. Cool. Come pick it up tomorrow before you go to the library. Okay. Still wondering what's on the paper? Kinda. First? Alex, you're here already. Here's the promise. First hands you a thin notebook in addition to the paper from yesterday. Tell Echo I said hi. Oh, and under any circumstances, do not look inside of that notebook. Well, that doesn't make me curious at all. Thanks, Verse. No, seriously, don't. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, then. Bye. You keep glancing on the notebook on your way to the library. She told you not to, didn't she? What you gonna do? Uh, listen to her? Don't look? I better listen to Verse. She seemed quite serious. Alice! Hi, did Vivi pass anything to, to, anything to me? Yeah, here, she also said hi. Yay! Thank you! I've never seen you so happy, Echo. Except for yesterday when you got them books. Um, you didn't look inside, did you? No. Okay, good. It would have been problematic if you did. Luckily, I can read that. Did you say something? Uh, no, it was nothing. 
We don't have anything planned for today, so you can go home early. But Echo, I want to spend time with you. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. Bye, Alice. No! Echo! You feel strangely at ease after deciding not to look inside of that notebook. I'm still curious, though. Regretting it? No. Not really. Exactly. They said no, so we didn't do it. No matter how I turned it around, yesterday notebook seems very suspicious. What was that? What? Alice, did I startle you? Seems like there's something on your mind. Uh oh, it's nothing important. Okay then. How are you doing in the lit club? I'm delivering books around. Uh huh. So Echo made you do this after all. Yeah, I don't mind it though. Hmm? I was just wondering why Echo was the only member of the club. Well, for some reason, all previous members left tap school. Huh? Why? Who knows? You can try asking first about it. She knows Echo. She's known Echo longer than anyone here. Okay, thanks. No problem. I'll let you go now. See you later. So, are we going to ask first about Echo? Yeah. Everything is too suspicious to just forget about. Come in. You. you come here quite often. It almost feels like you join two clubs at the same time. So, what did you want? Now or never. I actually wanted to ask something about the Lit Club. Yeah, what is it? You told me that you might know why all previous members left tax school. Uh, well, I do know the reason, but I don't think you really want to know about it, or if I should be the one who tells you this. What do you mean? <sighs> okay, you should have already figured out that our school is different from others. You see, students attending aren't all humans. Yui is a witch apprentice, I am a vampire, Ayn is a werecat, and there's Echo. She's human. At least she was. Her situation is different from mine, but in simple words, Echo turned herself into supernatural. She wasn't born one. Uh, I don't understand. I know it must be shocking to hear that for a human... What happened to Echo? Um, she became a necromancer. It's sort of a hobby for her. So that's why she likes zombies so much. Uh, yeah, that. And what about that personal project she was talking about? Oh, I've been trying to convince her to stop. The truth is... Oh, snap! First, there's an accident in the gym. Please hurry. Ah, yes, coming right away. Sorry, Alice, I have to go. But please, help her, okay? Yeah, sure, I'll help her. Echo's so sweet. More mystery. Let's go to the library now. <laughs> Your faces. Your little emojis. You walk to the library, but it looks like the door is locked. There's a sticky note. Working on the project. Library is closed until tomorrow. Again with the project. I'll ask people around tomorrow. What are the plans for today, Alice? I have to figure out what's going on. Hey, you! Alice, do you need something? Yeah. Do you know anything about Echo's personal project? Hmm. I don't think so. Echo doesn't go outside the library often, and I mostly spend my time here, so we don't talk much. Did you ask first? Not yet. I'll head to her now. Thanks, you. No problem. There is no response. Guess she's out. Maybe I should look in the gym. See if I knows anything. Seems like the sports club is here. Hey there! You're the new one. Hi, Ayn. Let me guess, looking for Viz? Yeah, how'd you know? She told me about your yesterday's chat. 
Vivi is not around today, though. If you wanted to know more, just ask me instead. Okay. So, do you know anything about Echo's project? Yep. Heard of it. Something about turning school into a living graveyard. Um, hold up. Stop. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? Huh? What do you mean, graveyard? Eh, I'm not sure myself. I have great hearing, but at the time, I wasn't really paying attention. Hmm. Well, she's into zombies, right? Yeah. Then she maybe. Then she may try and turn entire school into zombies. What? Is that even possible? Yeah, why not? Echo's been asking Verse to aid her, too. When you mention it, she really did ask Verse for help with some sort of weird note. You mean the ritual? I'll explain. There's one pretty well-known ritual that can turn alive dead. I'm pretty sure Echo knows all about it since it's her hobby. Is there a way to prevent it from happening? Not that I know of. Echo must really be into zombies, though. Everyone knows it already, so I'm not sure it was helpful at all. I have to go back to club duties. Good luck, Alice. Thanks, Hein. Now it's time to go stop her. I should head to the library now. When you enter the library, you don't see Echo right away. Echo? Ah, over there! You find Echo sitting on the floor in between the bookshelves. She is surrounded by all sorts of different books. That is so me. I would totally do that. We have to decide on the Halloween dance to the theme today. To be honest, I'm a little excited. Sure, what do you have in mind? Here, I made a list. You look at the list handed to you by Echo. Dead zombies. Classy zombies. 90 zombies. I'm seeing a recurring theme here. Does it have anything to do with zombies? What do you think? Well... Uh, just zombies? Shouldn't the theme be more open? Uh, you know, there are other creatures other than zombies. Is she mad? Well, she did seem quite into zombies after all. Maybe I should have just agreed. So, you don't like zombies then? Too bad. Somehow, Echo's voice sounds way colder than before. <gasps> Guess that means I'll have to proceed with my project. Oh, oh no. Um, uh, heck no. I'm loading. Uh uh, nope. 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 I'm gonna skip ahead to where I was because that's a whole lot of nope. I'm just gonna say that I do like zombies. Because her face scared the heck out of me. I'll just wait until she notices me. Echo seems easy to startle. It turns out Echo was putting the book back rather than trying to get it from the shelf. You feel glad about your decision. Oh, Alice, I didn't see you. You told me you decided to join the literature club. Okay, and then we're back to the same old thing that I said before. Alright, finally. Now I can come back to this. Save. In case I mess it up. Back. Okay, good. zombies. Sounds cool. I like zombies. Oh, your face is so cute! Really? Yeah, they're the first thing that comes to mind when I think about Halloween. I see. I'm glad. She must really like zombies. Heh <laughs> You know, Alice, I always wanted to have a zombie party. Since you think it's a good theme for ha our Halloween dance, I think I'm 
I think my wish will come true. That's great. Um, what about that personal project of yours? That. I don't think I need to finish it. Oh, thank God. I'm so glad I went back and changed it. We've got to prep for the dance now. Psst. How about you ask her to be your date for Halloween? Hey, Echo. What's that? Do you want to go together? To the dance, I mean. We could dress up like zombies together. <gasps> you actually listened to me. Wow, wow, wow. Don't ignore me now. We just started becoming friends. I'm not ignoring you. <gasps> your face is so cute. Really? We dress up? Yeah, if you want to. Yes, let's go together. Oh man, it's gonna be so cool. She seems happy. Looks like you prevented something bad from happening. Thank God, because I was so close to messing it up. Good job, Atlas. Let's meet at the Halloween dance. Before that, I have to submit the theme and help with some prep work. Okay, I'll see you later. I can't wait already. <gasps> you guys are so cute! Zombies are the best, right? Yeah, the coolest. Oh, and I got the good end. That's good. Oh, you two are so cute. All right, so that was uh, Echo's route. And the next one, I'm going to do Versus route. And then the last one will be Yu's route. So this was Alice Damien playing Love or Die. And I'll see you all in the next one.